Yo, what up? It's your boy Drew ID. So, SI, Speech Impediments, as you may or may not know, right? Uh, last album we dropped was Cobwebs. I think that was back in 2012. So, it's been a good seven, eight years or so since we actually got together. Just by chance, Syntax was down and we uh, we just got together one night, made a quick, quick banger, called it The Gift Exchange, put it out. Um, I ha- we had a couple other songs that we started making and then we were like, hey, you know, what are we doing? Um, and uh, long story short, I don't know if it was me or if it was Syntax that came up with it, but we were like, yo, let's 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 get a cabin. Let's let's actually let's do this. Speech impediments had a meeting and decided it was time to make another album. And we picked a place. It happened to be Big Bear. We went up for three nights. We get to the property. We open the door. The alarm goes off. First thing. Drew's over there pushing buttons, trying to stop the shit. But beyond all that chaos, we did end up getting set up and we got super busy. And it was just the three of us, no other outside engineers, of course, other than Zol, who produced, composed, engineered, mixed, like he was the one man army behind this whole thing. DJ Zol produced it, the whole record, every beat, made every beat from scratch. He laid the foundation for for you know Druid and Syntax to get back on it. We just we went at it old school style, you know, domino effect style with Druid and Syntax, DJ Zol. Just just doing it, man. And it, it was just a beautiful thing, you know, being able to make music again with, with, with the brothers um, and provide something new for, for everyone to check out one more time. Oftentimes people will ask me, what is a destination record? And essentially that's just, we pick a location and we go and set up the equipment, write and record. So we took that to the extreme, you know, with uh, going to Big Bear. I think we only left the crib once each day to go out and get a meal somewhere and then come right back and get super busy. I mean, writing, recording, writing, recording smoking drinking chilling back to recording this this was something else it was a super good experience to have speech impediments after you know being a group for so long and taking so much time off for us to get back on and pick up where we left off like like we took no days off if anything it was like we had more gas in the tank on this trip than we did previously which is super crazy to think of but yeah man the whole thing worked out super good just good vibes, good music, and it all went off super good. You know, my favorite part of the of the cabin trip, just just being able to make music like full time, you know, day and night, uh, it was just amazing. You know, so had a good time and and keep this record in rotation. <laughs> all right, signing out, Drew ID, Speech Impediments, peace. We got six tracks done in three nights, and all of them were keepers. You guys will end up hearing all of them. We're super excited to let everybody hear the music when it's ready. And yeah, you know, this is just that sneak peek. Everyone gets a chance to see, you know, a day in the life or a weekend in the studio, if you will, with speech impediments. So enjoy the shit. Thanks for watching.